The Gladiator 2, right? Ridley Scott's new film. The first reviews are in. Okay. They're here. And uh, we're going to take a look at them. So these are just the critic reviews, and there's only 83 at this time. I did see an article earlier that's saying, like, people are liking it. It's not a complete yeah. flop. So it's so I it's wanted to take a look at this. Folly right? ado. It's not folly ado, thank goodness. This actually <laughs> looks like it's promising. And uh, and we'll look at some of these reviews and then we'll compare it to the last film as far as critic reviews go. And we'll see like how did they think about the last film, right? The, I I'm just noticing the poster here. Do you remember when all of like the movie posters were just like, like in kind of a V format, the main actors heads, it would be like their faces in, in kind of this V format. Yeah. That would, that was what the, all posters were like back in the early two thousands. Yeah. It was the Mid flying 2010, v, the flying thousands. Now we, like, there's a ton of, the thumbnails. yeah, yeah. It's the flying V, uh, poster look. Um, so we're getting a lot of, we're not getting like big praises here. You know what I mean? But we're getting a lot of middle of the roads with a handful of lower reviews. Wait, okay? wait a minute. So the green splat and the tomato. The tomato is the critics, and the tomato green splat is yeah, all the critics. No, th these are all critics. Their 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 icon is the rating score, right? Oh, oh, okay, okay. So I, a splat is they. Low, I was looking they rated for, it pretty low. I was looking for the audience score, but we have, don't have that yet. It's only critics. Right, so the tomato okay. is kind of like a good score, right? It's a decent. Okay. One. Um, a, I think couple. there's a better one. All right, so Gladiator Two is not an emotionally gripping, not emotionally as gripping as 2000's Gladiator, but this action sequel delivers the expected epic battle scenes and competent acting. All right, shallow characters and phony looking fight fight beasts are part of this predictable story. All right, so they're basically saying like the rhino, the monkeys that we saw in the trailer, mm -hmm. all of these these they're going to look animated, all right? Oh, I kind of expected that. Um they also said the characters are kind of shallow, which is interesting because if you look at Denzel's character in the trailer, he comes across as pretty deep. Maybe yeah. it's not deep, but at least it appears deep and then you got the emperor characters um, yeah, Joseph I'll, Quinn, especially, I'm really interested in. I want to make, I want to, uh, speaking on this, I want to make a really quick comment on the first movie. I know, um, I've seen, I watched the movie a long time ago when I was kind of a teenager, and mm -hmm. I love the movie because it's got action, it's a fun movie. But recently, so I watched it with my wife, the first one, the first Gladiator, mm -hmm. and yep. most of the time, action adventure movies kind of bore her, but she loved that movie. For the drama combined with the action adventure ness of the first one, of mm -hmm. like that, who's supposed to be Caesar? Who's supposed to be sitting uh, on the th the throne? I guess if you want to call it a throne, I don't yeah. think they call it the throne. The emperor seat. Yeah, she loved the drama aspect with the movie to the point where she was engaged the whole time, mm. and so I think. With the second one, they have to have a combination of, of both to get us grippingly engaged like the first one, which I'm not expecting that. I'm kind of just expecting action adventure. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, CGI rhinos, apes, sharks, and warships take up space in Ridley Scott's digital re-rendered Coliseum. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he but he's at a loss with what to do with them. It's just a bunch of pixels at war with each other, with humans, human stakes left to bleed out. Okay, so this person didn't care for it. There wasn't, I feel like people are looking for a lot of emotional depth coming from this Gladiator film. Yeah. Maybe they felt like there was some emotional depth from the first one, which I think there was, but to what level is their expectation mm -hmm. and actual how deep does this go? You know what I mean? This is a, you Seen know, a lot of green icons here. Yeah. This is, this is a 2024 movie. We're not talking about 2024. We're not talking about 23, 2003 movie anymore. Right. Okay. I don't know when the movie came out. 2000, I believe. Um, okay. 
People were understandably very wary of a sequel to Gladiator, but it justifies its existence. It's yeah. a more complex story than the initial feels like it might just repeat the first film's plot, but then turns out to do something different. Okay, so this guy, Eric Goldman, mm -hmm. he's promising us that it, it, its existence is justified. It's not a bad movie. It deserves to be here. Gladiator 2 deserves to have a place. Um, so that's that's a little bit of a, a hopeful tone here. Um, a film that aspires to be so much that it ends up being too little. So this is this is what I'm noticing. I'm not seeing a lot of people saying it's just bad or it sucks. But what I am seeing is that people had expectations based on the first movie. Some people feel like it was close and some people feel like it fell short. And that was... The criticism here. Yes. Um, not without flaws. It delivers plenty of intense jaw-dropping moments with standout performances from Denzel to Paul Mascal. The film keeps you thoroughly entertained from start to finish, offering sharp dialogue and expertly crafted fight scenes. So it sounds like there might not be a lot of depth to these characters. The plot's not going to be any Marvel in when it comes to you know storytelling mm. but it sounds like the performances are decent and the action sequences are great that's what it sounds like yeah i mean you know a gladiator fight scene that's exciting and it i will won't don't downplay the you know fighting sequences in hollywood today i feel like all action sequences are pretty good in hollywood for the most part i don't want to downplay that so that got an it's it's currently at a critic score with only 83 reviews at 78 but if you look at the first movie 79 the first movie got a critic score of 79 so the audience oh, so the audience the liked gladiator yeah. more than the critic reviews did all right so it, there's evidence the, here that the audience the, the the normies might freaking love this second movie as much as they loved the first one while the uh, the critics who are going to be looking at it with a critical way to write a a you know their little blurb, yeah, they're going to be looking at it more harshly. What would you, uh, Ridley Scott? The last movie he did before this was Napoleon. Uh, Napoleon. Um, I didn't watch Napoleon. I, did. I never got around to it. What would you give Napoleon? One out of seven out of ten. I mean, uh, no, seven, seven out, one out of ten. ten. <laughs> one out of ten. Um, no, not one. Uh, just you know. At From a 1 to 10, I would give Napoleon a 6. The fight okay. scenes were very short. I'm just... And I just that want there, was, to... there was just a, like a lot of... There's a lot of nonsense. It moved way too slowly. And what I'm getting the vibe here is that this second movie doesn't move as slow. I don't mind a slow-moving story. I just want it to feel like I'm invested and um, Napoleon didn't really quite hit it. I don't have an issue with the acting. I don't have an issue with the production value. I just am saying, like, if this is supposed to be a Napoleon war movie, the wars, yeah. the battles are too fast. And if this is supposed to be an emotionally deep movie, I'm, we need better setup because I'm not invested in these characters yet, you know? I'm just uh, curious if Mr. Uh, Ridley Scott is... Uh, you know, is he, is he slipping in his old age? I don't think he's slipping. I think he's just trying no. new things. I mean, besides Gladiator 2 being a sequel, I think he's just trying new stuff. And and maybe maybe he likes slower stuff. Maybe he is like, I want to do a, a war film, but I don't want it to be just war, you know? Yeah. Maybe that's the case. And so perhaps with Napoleon, he did do like six major battles that Napoleon did in, in history, yeah. but the battles on screen only lasted for like three to five minutes. So there was way more time of him and his wife staring at each other <laughs> <laughs> than there was action sequences or anything of, of value, I would say. So I don't know. There, it's it's an interesting uh, comparison between these two films. Again, we're going to go see this movie when it actually comes out. 24 years I, it took to get a sequel to Gladiator. 24 years. Gladiator.